Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the English news from Djibouti channel. They are the top, uh, the title, the main title of this news edition tonight. The headlines are the President of uh, the Republic's Excellence, Mr. Ismail Mergele, received uh, Somali uh, parliamentarian delegations. Uh, and the uh, preliminary uh, teacher training course in uh, uh, in a meeting uh, today, uh, the AU calls for straining public-private sectors. Welcome if you join us. The President of the Republic's Excellency, Mr. Ismail Omar received today a delegation, parliamentarian delegation uh, from uh, Somalia uh, composed by uh, the President of the Sena, uh, Mr. Abdi Hashi, and the President of the Assembly, National Assembly of Somalia, Mr. Mohammed Mursal Sheikh. Uh, the relations uh, uh, between uh, the both country and people were the main subjects as well as the cooperation and the ways and means to straighten uh, the relations between uh, the two countries. Um, the side of Djibouti, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation of and International Cooperation, Mr. Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, as well as uh, the uh, federal uh, the embassy of Djibouti in Somalia, Mr. Aden Hassan Aden uh, participated at the meetings. Uh, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed Chair. Uh, first and the progress of the work on the reflections of energy and tourism this morning in the meeting room of the People's Palace. In fact, the two tur tu tourism and energy laboratories will work up to one month in a row to plan and implement all the necessary needs to boost the two key sector of sustainable, of sustainable uh, development. Also present uh, uh, the meeting, the Minister of Economy and Finance, Mr. Ilyas Musidawale, uh, the Minister of Housing, uh, Mrs. Amina Abdi Aden, who represent the Minister of Tourism, and the Minister of Energy, Mr. Yunis Ali Gedi, as well as the Secretary uh, General of the Presidency, Mr. Mohammed Abdullahi Wais, who represent the Minister to the Presidency in charge of international investment. The Minister of Energy, Mr. Yunis Ali Gedi, explained the progress of the work and the goal of the government in the field of energy, which will be able to achieve the roadmap government to achieve the development objectives of of the vision 2035. For his part, the Prime Minister, Mr. Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, after seeing a, a first hand the progress of work in the two laboratories set up under the, the uh, supervision of his department, he also urged the, the involvement of each department concerned and to bring out concrete realizations. Prime Minister uh, Mr. Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed recalled these two laboratories uh, who, who which arrived at the bath of their course, but they still have two more weeks to final, finalize and concretize the planning and implementations of the development strategy. And uh, in the ring, woman generous and accessible to all. We left Friday night. It was uh, fire Lula uh, Mohammed Leita. Following the death of the late Lula Mohammed Leita, the Prime Minister Mr. Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed sent his deepest condolences, uh, deep, uh, deepest condolences to the great family of the season. In addition, the, the Minister in Charge of Investment Mr. Ali Gili Abu Bakr, as well as the Minister of Communication Mr. Uh, Radwan Abdullahi Bahdan, and the Minister of Health Mr. Mohammed Warsame Diriye, the Secretary of State uh, for Decentralization, Mr. Hamadou Mohammed Aramis, the General Secretary of the Premature, Mr. Nagib Abdullah Kamil, share the grief of the loved one and extend their sincere condolence to the great family, to the late Lula Mohammed the later. 
in the quest of quality the quest of quality the main fob has put in place an ambitious uh, policy and initiated a transformative project in identifying all the uh, parameters tending towards the improvement of the Djiboutian educational system this autumn of 2019 is implemented because it's the year of implementations of the new uh, curricula and the didactic and the pedagogical support of the first year it should be emphasized that this uh, revision of the uh, curriculum for basic education start two years ago the president and elected member of the Djibouti Chamber of uh, Commerce received today high-level mission from the African Union Implementations Group led by the former South African president, Mr. Tabu Mbeki. The mandate of this mission is to discuss discussion uh, with the leader of the region on the means to implement to promote the comprehensive approach to peace, security, stability and development in the Horn of Africa region. Several issues raised in this meeting were on priorities for the development and harmonizations of uh, policies to promote uh, cross-border intervention such as intra-region trade and the challenges associated with uh, such efforts, opportunities and challenge in promoting infrastructure projects to support trade and investment in the region, measure needed to uh, mitigate the ne ne negative impact of climate change and the environment of the region food security. During a short interview, the president of the Chamber of Commerce emphasized the importance of the meeting to involve uh, the different sector. The uh, after He said that uh, the high-level missions of the implementations group of the African Union led by the former South African um, President Mr. Tabo Mbeki visited the, uh, the different poor infrastructure of Djibouti. The delegation successively visited the poor of Djibouti and the Dorali multiple post poor and the international free zone of Pika uh, 12. It was through the delegation was received by the Djibouti Porn Trim Director General Mr. Jama Ibrahim Darar and the Director General of Dorali Multi Propose Mr. Wahib Dahir Aden. Inaugurated in 2017, Dorali Multi Propose Porn constitute a bridge between Asia and Africa uh, and its uh, trade in goods and raw materials. The Minister of Health organized a week-long training session dedicated to the therapeutic management of newborns for the benefit of midwives and nurses from different health sector in the country. And that this training was given to the health staff of Djibouti City and the five regions of the interior involved the care of the mother and children health. It should also be noted that this training was conducted with the uh, support of technical and financial partners. In Djibouti, the increase of the price of meat is a serious issue concerning the, consumer, the consumers. All types of meat are, uh, are concerned, uh, castle, chips and goods that are consumed very often in our country. The reason of this price increase is explained by the number of salespeople interviewed and it's obviously the shortage of grazing and the soaring uh, prices of the castle feed. Remember that the goat meat is a significant food resource and they are of economic importance, especially with regard to domestic consumptions of meat without forgetting its socio-cultural role because God is meat is very often the piece of resistance during uh, reeds uh, 
custom customers or a wedding fest uh, for nomadic uh, pastoralism, racing goods and selling them in urban areas an effective way to fight against poverty even if it means helping and arming them to cope and having to face the drought that may endanger their lives and it's so doing remedy the problem related to the rising price of meat and disturb and worries the Djiboutian populations and now ladies and gentlemen well uh, Let's move on continental news. The G7 leaders are trying to agree Sunday, August 25, on emergency measure against wildfire in the Amazon, but also who looks like who looks more difficult on a recovery of the global economy uh, depressed by the trade war between Washington and Beijing. But the day will start with a highly anticipated image that of the first meeting between the U.S. President and the Boris Johnson uh, since uh, he took the reins of the U.K. in the midst uh, of the Brexit crisis. Here we arrive at the end of this news edition. Thank you for watching us. Goodbye and have a good night.